Oh, he's trying to get him to honk. Is it a kid? I don't know. Or is that a grown man? Honk your horn. Honk your horn. <laughs> Don't honk your horn. 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 Don't honk your horn.
no inside seating. been the old look. What? That's the old marlin. Uh -uh. Uh, yeah. Pensacola Beach marlin. Merlin. Back to the year. Pensacola Beach. Remember that time we got off on the exit and there were gunshots and a sign? Well, I just got off on an exit and there's some freaking roosters. The hell? Cock a doo a doo. Y'all? Hey, dudes. Oh, they're big dudes, too. Hey. What's up, YouTube fam? Okay, so I tried to go thrifting while we were in Pensacola and it was pretty uneventful. I got two pairs of shoes. That was it. So we decided on our way home that we would drive through a little town called Fairhope, Alabama. They have some wealthier people who live in this area. They only have one Goodwill, so I thought we'll just check it out. And fingers crossed, I can have a little redemption on this little break that we took on our trip to Florida. So, and it's this guy's birthday too, by the way. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Please let me find something.
Hey y'all, it's Victoria. I'm here with a thrift haul. I just got back from my trip to Pensacola and I wanted to share with you some of the items that I picked it up when I went sourcing. We went on a little mini vacation, my husband and I, for his birthday. We spent one night over in Pensacola. I would have liked to go to their Goodwill outlet. I have never been, but unfortunately right now, because of the pandemic, they're only open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and we were there on a weekend. So we really spent most of our time in the hotel or on the beach, but I did find some time for sourcing. I have to say, you guys, last time I was in Pensacola, I was disappointed at the first thrift store we went to. I only found one vintage coat, which is beautiful, I might add. But the second thrift store I went to, I was really happy. I got a lot of great items and most of them have already sold. So I was anticipating finding something, at least I hoped I would. So we went back to that first thrift store when we first got into Pensacola, the one that I only found one vintage coat in, and I found nothing absolutely nothing it was pitiful i thought my luck has got to be better so we went back to the second thrift store we had gone to last time where i found lots of great things and i only found two pairs of shoes <laughs> again it was sad so at least let me show you the shoes i got the first pair of shoes aren't totally exciting i won't get a huge return the items at this store the two pairs of shoes were six dollars and 82 cents a piece the first ones are, are these Tom's booties. They're suede and they're in really good condition. That's why I got them. I've actually never sold Tom's before. I don't really like Tom's, so they're not really my thing, but I did like the booties and soon everybody's going to be shopping for booties. So, and then the fact that they were suede and lined and they look really good. I went ahead and picked them up again. I know I won't get a huge return on my money, but I will make a profit. So that's good. The second pair of shoes I am very excited about. It's a brand I've never picked up, but I do know about it. It's called Schutz, and Schutz is actually a brand you should be on the lookout for. These are really beautiful suede espadrilles, and they have never been worn, so they're brand new, and they're just beautiful. They're, they're in beautiful condition. They're a great brand. They retail for a lot. They sell them on Revolve and Shopbop, and they're very trendy shoes, a high-end brand, I think these retailed for around $125. So, and then they actually resell really well too. So I was really excited to find them. This is definitely a brand that I have always wanted to find out in the wild. Didn't find any styles at a price point that I wanted to pick up and thought I could make a good profit, but I was really excited to find these, especially because of their condition. <laughs> Needless to say, after that, I was pretty bummed, but I enjoyed the rest of my trip. Like I said, we spent a lot of time on the beach. I was very distracted, so. But as we were leaving, I definitely wanted to try and go sourcing again. And because it was a Sunday, I wasn't able to hit any more thrift stores in Pensacola, but we did take an alternate route so that it would take us through a little town between Pensacola and Mobile called Fairhope. So we did stop at Fairhope. Fairhope has a Goodwill. They tend to be a pretty upper middle class area. So I was very hopeful I'd find some things and I did. I did find some really good vintage pieces too. So I'm really excited about that because I love to sell vintage. So let me show you what I got. Since we ended on the shoes at the last store, I'll go ahead and start with shoes on this store. This first brand is actually by Kenneth Cole and they're called Gentle Souls. If you don't know about Gentle Souls, they're a really great line by Kenneth Cole. They retail for a lot, but they also resell really well. These are all leather. They're suede wrapped platform heels. They have leather insoles and the Gentle Souls have cushion soles. So that's why a lot of people like them. They're super soft. These are in excellent condition. Um, they do have some toe marks says somebody must have worn it at least once, but they're great condition. This is a super cute, trendy style, and I was excited to find these. Everything at this thrift store was around the $5.30 mark, so these are great. I'm, a, I'm actually looking for some Gentle Souls flats for myself, in a, but I wear 11, so it's kind of hard to find shoes, but I would really like to get some because I sold a pair of these that were the most buttery soft leather loafers. Oh my gosh, like I wished they were in my size because I would have kept them. So Gentle Souls by Kenneth Cole, definitely a brand to look out for. They'll sell 
well over the $50 mark and you'll get a good return on your money. When I saw these shoes, I was like, oh, this color. So it looks like it's like a nude, but it actually has a little bit of blush pink in them, almost like a ballet shoe color, but they are by J. Crew. The bottoms look great. Just a little bit of wear to them. These are a very classic style, but have the really chunky heel and it's not quite a square front, but it's a flat toe. So I just thought these were beautiful. They're all leather, leather insoles, leather uppers and leather bottoms, even uh, leather wrapped chunky heels. So definitely an on-trend style. I was excited to find them and especially for the price, I'll get a good return on these also. Okay, so I picked these shoes up and thought, those look very interesting, but I've never heard of the brand. So they're by Caitlin Pan. So they're flats and they have the pyramid studs all around them. They're a patent leather. They're in a US size nine. As you can see, they've never been worn. They still have the sticker on the bottom. They have a little bit of shelf wear. There's one spot on the patent leather here where you can see some indentations as if the spikes from this shoe sat on it and caused some perforation in the patent leather. But when I check comps on these in the store, cause I just had a feeling that they were something special. Holy cow, I could not believe the comps on these shoes. So some of them sold for $200. And so I was like five bucks, I'm totally buying these. <laughs> And they're super cute style. Again, another shoe. If they were in my size, I totally would snag these suckers. So, okay, moving on to the clothing that I found in that store. First are a pair of Lucky Brand. These are the Midrise Crop Ava. These actually, um, these sell really well and they are like new. Look at that leather patch. Looks like it quite possibly has never been washed. So they have nice whiskering and factory fading and just a really cute style. So I grabbed these suckers. This item is actually by Aster the Label and Aster the Label is sold at Shopbop. It is this pretty little black dress, but it's got this eyelash detailing all over it. It's super soft. It's got a hidden zipper in the back. There is a, a waistline here. It's hard to see, but very cute dress in great condition. So grabbed her. All right, guys, one of my vintage lovelies I found, I saw this pattern and was like, oh my gosh, I love this. So it's this very 1970s polyester dress. It's a midi length and it has three quarter length sleeves. Check out that floral pattern. I love these dresses. It's got a keyhole in the front. And if you can see a lot of uh, vintage zippers, they matched to the fabric. So you can see it has a green zipper on it. Of course, it's a metal zipper, but I like that it also has this venting at the neckline. So it's not uncomfortable like around your neck. Just a super stylish dress. Loved this so much. I was so excited to find this. And so I picked this baby up. I also spotted this one far away and thought, oh my gosh, what a beautiful 1960s shift dress. You guys, oh my gosh. Look at that scalloped neckline right there. So, so cute. And the embroidery, it has these hibiscus flowers. I believe those are supposed to be hibiscus. They could be. I don't know. I would think they were a tropical flower. So I'm going to say hibiscus <laughs> floral. We'll say floral. So, but really cute. Um, a little bit longer than knee length, but then, so I went to go and look at the label because even the, the fabric is like a linen blend and you guys are going to be shocked. Check it out. Talbot's what, but it is a vintage Talbot's piece. So, um, I thought about it because I was like, mm, Talbots, I don't know. I don't really like to sell Talbots, but you guys, this definitely looks like a vintage 60s dress, even though it's probably 90s. Um, still super cute. I love the color. I love the embroidery. I love the neckline. So I grabbed it. If you're new to my channel, you may not know, but I like to sell vintage, but I also like to sell vintage inspired, sell a lot of mod cloth, but I also sell other vintage inspired brands. 
This is a cute polka dot dress, very 1950s style. It is by the brand Go Lightly. Now, I don't think this was sold at Mod Cloth. I could be wrong, but I've had very good luck with just vintage inspired basic dresses like this with the big circle skirts. So you can put crinoline under it and really poof it out. Very cute style. I love this neckline. This neckline is very 1990s and they've got some sweet little faux pearl buttons on it. But anyway, I've had very good luck with these selling for around the $50 mark. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And it, of course it'll look great in my closet because it'll match a lot of my other stuff. So this is one of the last pieces I found before we left there. And I was so excited. Let me show you the brand first. It is Pinup Couture and it's a great size 2X. If you haven't seen my girl Brittany at Shop Foxborough's vintage inspired brands or pinup brands to look out for, um, you should definitely check it out. So this is one of those brands that's a really good vintage inspired brand. And you guys, this dress is so pretty. On camera, it doesn't even do it justice, but this green color is awesome. I have hazel eyes, but when I wear purple or green, my eyes look super green. Can you see my eyes look greener? It's gathered here on the neckline and on the back. It's got a hidden zipper and then it goes into this huge full skirt, midi length. It's hard to show on camera, but, and it's got pockets. So I might try this on and see if it fits me. I'm not a really busty gal, so it may be too big, but um, yeah, for those of you who say it's hard to find plus size, you just have to look. I mean, it's not super hard and look at this, found this at a thrift store. So this next piece is the gem of the ball. This is the best piece I found. I'm so in love with this. Josh thought I was crazy, <laughs> but it is by Joseph Ribkoff. And I actually found another Joseph Ribkoff dress that's going to be in my next haul. But this looks like a Bellman jacket but it's a dress. It's got these super cool crested gold buttons and the gold trim around the neckline. It's double breasted. It's got long sleeves. It looks like it could be a ringmaster jacket, but it's a dress and it is so cool. It does have shoulder pads in it. Wow, like, wow, like how, how? So yeah, I couldn't leave her behind, had to get her. Um, and like I said, she's definitely the belle of the ball. So that was my haul for Pensacola and Fairhope. And I'm so glad we stopped in Fairhope because I was able to find some clothing items and some more shoes, new to me brands, brands I'm used to selling and some vintage. So I'm happy overall with our trip. Glad I got to spend some quality time alone with my husband without kids, got to go to the beach which I love and got to do some sourcing. So thank you guys so much for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up on the way out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Bye.